Yo, what is up everyone? Hopefully you guys are all doing well today and we are back in our Minecraft survival guide world. And we're over here inside of our pond where we put ourselves our beacon from last episode. If you guys remember, we fought the wither, made our beacon and it's a fully, what is it? Like the full pyramid beacon. Yeah, so all four levels. And uh, yeah, I'm noticing that we don't have a color on it. So I think we should try and do a color real quick. Um, Now, I don't believe the water actually changes the color uh, whatever of uh, whatever grass grass glass block you use and do we have any glass we have normal glass right here do we have any dye besides white no uh we do have flowers actually hold on so yeah if you guys don't well let's actually do a pink one yeah i wouldn't mind doing a pink one i need more glass actually yeah if you guys don't know like i said you're gonna actually change the color of the beacon using colored glass yeah all you need is just a piece of stained glass and just put it right above the beacon and there we go okay yeah so it didn't change it and yeah we're going with pink i kind of like the pink uh so yeah we're gonna go ahead and leave that like that today uh it looks weird for sure and uh yeah the water did not affect it uh so yeah let's go ahead and put this back real quick and let's go ahead and get right into today's episode so if you guys notice in my inventory right now i don't have one item that i always have on me and that is rockets and what is the thing that you need to make rockets you need gunpowder and paper. What do we have? A sugarcane farm. What don't we have? Creeper farm. So yeah, that's what we're gonna go ahead and build today. And if you guys have not seen what kind of creeper farms I do, well, I guess it's not a creeper farm anymore. The way I do it is I just remove one step at the end, which turns it from a creeper farm into a normal mob farm. That's actually like very, very efficient. And we're actually gonna build one today. So I've actually kind of decided to have this area over here. Um, I haven't planned it out or how big it's gonna be. Um, Basically, I'm just going to change this entire area over here into an industrial area. If you guys see the Hermitcraft series, you guys would know that Mumbo and Iska right now, I believe, are the ones that are doing uh, industrial areas. And Mumbo has always has one every season. And I started to do one actually in my other stream world, pretty much. I have a small area where I have a bunch of machines where I just build stuff. So we're actually going to have one over here again. I guess not again, but one over here on this world. And so far, you guys know we have ourselves this iron farm right here, which is pretty good. But we have the villager farm over there, or I guess a villager breeder. And I think one thing that would be pretty good to add to the industrial area would actually be a mall farm. Now, the mall farm that I built is kind of massive. Or it's not really massive, it just takes up a lot of blocks. So yeah, that's why I decided to put it over here as well. So the farm design that we're actually going to go ahead and go with is the one by Shogacraft. I pretty much take all my like farm ideas from them. Uh, but I believe they actually take their ideas as well from other people. But I'm not sure. Just go into their description and see if they actually got inspired from somebody else or if that's their own design. But yeah, as you guys can see, it says Creeper Farm. And there's actually one step, like I said earlier. All you have to do is just not put in trap doors. And it turns it from a Creeper Farm into a normal mob farm, pretty much. And that is the farm that I'm going to go with today. And as you can see, I actually have a bit of, I guess, a stone that I collected up in between episodes. I did do something at least. And then we also have some of these cobblestone slabs from the uh, village over here. And yeah, just know we're gonna need a bunch of blocks. So yeah, there's gonna be a material list up by now of what everything you should need and also in the description. So go check that out. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. Uh, so yeah, I have a couple of blocks, in <laughs> a couple of blocks. I have a couple of items in there uh, for the first layer, which I'm kind of glad they actually sectioned off for the, uh, I guess the viewer or the builder, whatever. And I believe I'm actually missing a bunch of blocks. So yeah, uh, whatever. <laughs> we'll be back once we actually finish off the first layer. Then we'll get on to, I believe, the redstone and then onto the layers, which isn't that hard, honestly. All right. After like 30 minutes, actually, didn't really take that long. I thought it was going to take longer, but it really didn't. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, so yeah, we have layer number one done right now, and it's actually very, very hot in my room right now, so I'm sweating like a mother. Yeah, this is where the actually get moved into the magma blocks over here, and if we go quickly down, break this block, we go into the, I guess the collection area. Oh my gosh, I need to put torches in here. I go like that and that. Uh, so yeah, this is the collection area where we have a minecart that goes around. Uh, like the middle blocks right here and collects up everything which is a uh, I guess pretty good We don't have to really pick up anything else But the one problem though is that yeah, there's only one double chest right here and it gets it gets filled up quickly And now after this we're gonna go ahead and get started on the redstone. So yeah, it's gonna not be that hard but After that we actually still have to place down. I think it was like 890 blocks for the I guess like each layer that their mobs are gonna spawn in and then the redstone on that as well. But it's not going to be that hard. Also, I need to make some more uh, water buckets as well. So uh, I guess I shall be back again the next morning. Oh, oh, there we go. After like an hour, actually. This one took longer for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, we have ourselves six layers now. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And actually, only five of them work. Uh, well, I guess not work. Only five of them actually are dark enough for to spawn mobs in. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five right there. Then the top layer actually is going to be where we place our slabs. We have to place, I think, 777, I believe, is what the number was. Okay, we're going to have to go, like, I think 17 from the middle out, which is a lot of slabs. I'm not going to lie. And then after that, I have to go out, I believe, or actually go up 123 blocks. To make sure everything is 100% working. Because um, that's how these farm works actually. And uh, yeah, if you see my slabs right here. I only have three and a half stacks. So I might have to go into my wood reserves honestly. And I really don't want to do that. Yeah, I think next episode we're going to have to try and find ourselves a jungle with bamboo. Because I am not trying to use uh, dirt to climb up to the... I guess the platform that we have to make up there. So yeah, one more jump cut and then we'll finish up the farm. And with some time, we have completed this whole thing now. Uh, but I actually I want to I want to do one more thing and I actually want to make myself a design and not just leave it like this I kind of want to have like a design on the outside or like a, a frame on the outside pretty much and I have one done actually So let's actually go into the creative test world that we went into last time and check out the design that we have behind us So yeah, this is the design that I have in mind and uh, it's pretty much gonna be the entire time So or I guess like throughout the whole thing so yeah, we have two pillars actually on uh, like in the front or I guess on the side I'm not sure. I'll be at on these uh flat areas right here and then we're gonna have this small little design right here which is like an archway i guess um on the top and then like this little thing right here on the side as well uh so yeah we're gonna go ahead and do that all around actually um it is still gonna be kind of open but i think it's still gonna work out uh this is just gonna be right on the edge as well so yeah like that is still the edge over there it's the same thing i think i think we just broke a couple blocks and that was it uh but yeah this is what it's gonna look like and uh that one's not broken it's just uh or it's not working actually I just didn't completely do it all the way. Uh, but yeah, this is how it's going to look like in the end all around. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we're going to need a bunch of uh, that stone brick. I totally forgot what that was called. Uh, but yeah, we're going to need a lot and a lot of stone brick. So that means we're going to have to go ahead and do something. I did collect up a bunch of more stone, so that's good. And then we have a bunch of wood left over. Uh, but as you can see, it's already starting to work. Um, it's not completely like working just because we haven't gone up there. But uh, yeah, this is what we have gotten. I think just from being over there at the house and uh, at the storage room as well. So I'm kind of excited and I believe we're going to make another room down there or like another level so we can get down even further with storage. So yeah, it's going to be a big project. Uh, but yeah, I will be back once we have a little bit more work done on the uh, pillars and on the sides, I think. All right. Well, some good and bad news. Good news. We actually got pretty far and we got this area done over here. And as you can see, I changed it up a little bit over here on this side as well. I got rid of, uh, actually, I didn't get rid of anything. I just added that little thing right there. So it makes it look like it's, uh, I guess, connected up between there and there and then from here to here. I think it actually looks pretty good. I like it there. Um, and then right here, I believe I might have gotten the measurements wrong, actually, in the creative world. Because uh, I believe there is two blocks right here that don't have anything, but there's only one. So, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Uh, but, yeah. This is how it looks like, and I think it actually looks pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Uh, there's a couple things down there, or up there actually, that I need to add as well, which are stairs and slabs. And the bad news, we don't have enough blocks to actually finish it off, so... <laughs> I would do that off camera again, <laughs> in between episodes actually, uh, because I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for today. Uh, but I want to do one more thing again. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I didn't finish it up, so this is as far as we got. I need a bunch more normal cobblestone or not cobblestone like stone brick so yeah i'm at the mine off screen for like an hour or two hours i'm not sure uh but yeah we're gonna have to do that and then finish that off over here as well and then we have one more side after that which shouldn't be that bad as well so yeah but i think overall it looks pretty good honestly if we go over here to the front yeah that definitely looks cool i don't know it doesn't look weird but it doesn't look like totally out of place i think it looks pretty good honestly uh so yeah and then going over here we're gonna have ourselves a path that goes from over there uh past this as well then it's gonna go down here into the mob farm where we can get the collection area and uh yeah <laughs> i have some more blocks i did have, dude, for some reason i had like three wandering traders and they died so that sucks uh <laughs> but whatever i guess uh so yeah last thing i want to go ahead and do is actually afk afk for like i don't know an hour maybe i'm gonna watch some anime uh, I, i'm gonna watch a new attack on titan episode so you guys are definitely you know <laughs> go watch some attack on titan uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that while AFK in here, and we should be good. Uh, and I'm going to use dirt this time, which I don't really want to use, but I mean, it's whatever. So yeah, I think I got to go up like, what, 123 blocks? I think up to 123, actually, on the coordinates. Uh, so yeah, I will be back in like 
an hour maybe after watching two Attack on Titan episodes. All right, it's been about an hour, so let's go ahead and go down here and see how well we actually did on all of the uh, mobs. Okay, there's actually a lot right there. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, uh, that that's amazing. That, bro. Uh, what? How? Why? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I gotta. Oh, I gotta repair that then. I guess. It did pretty well actually. Half a chest full of <laughs> items. So. Oh my gosh. I gotta repair this, dude. I am not like this. All right. Well, I guess I will end it here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you guys did enjoy uh, the building process, I know I didn't really show off anything, but uh, yeah. Uh, go ahead and check out uh, Shulkercraft's uh, tutorial on how to build it. Actually, it's a pretty good farm. I built it about like four times already now. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty good farm. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I will catch you guys next time. Hopefully you guys today enjoyed today's episode. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.